Hello guys, this is Manindra Simhadri and in this video, in the series of basic ethical hacking series, in this video we are going to talk about another tutorial on food printing, website food printing, like what are the things you want, you will have to get while penetration testing or learning hacking or whatever, while doing food printing. So first of all, if you want to know about any website, the best way to know is who is details. So usually there are so many who is details websites. Search. Let me show you some of them. Yeah, this is who is dot net. Any any either one you can use. There are so many who is websites. And if you want to know who is running or who has taken that website or this kind, for example, let me take it programming dot com. So programming dot com is already registered. So the register is name pal dot com. So, what are the name servers about .com? From the name servers, you can sometimes get uh, what is where is the host, where is it hosted, these kind of things. Expiry date. These are the some of the details you can use for hacking. And based on if if you know where is the host, it is hosted. You might know what is the server software that they are running and what might be the version you can get sometimes. So, if you dive into if you are dive deep into the food printing you will get it and software used yeah that's how what is the software that is used by internet you can you also get them using what is that called burp suit yeah some of the proxy tools you can analyze the packets for example here i will run this one so let me configure the window settings I, i'm configuring this for Proxy. What is this? Yeah, proxy settings. So manual proxy settings. Local host. No, no proxy. After configuring the proxy settings like this, whatever settings options, yes. So here are the settings, and this is how con I configured for but suit. So if you want to use this, so just intercept is on, and you have. Yeah, here is the way you, you can either send the traffic or analyze each and every packet that is going from your system to and getting into your system. This is how you can uh, play with the bug suit. This is proxy proxy tool. Not only proxy tool. This is beyond that. We can't just uh, judge this bug suit as a proxy tool. So this is how you can get the software used or some kind of things. Operating system details. You can also use. And map for operating system details, and you you can also use subdomains. Uh, you can also check whether any subdomains are available. There are so many ways we can check the subdomains is available or not. There are some tools that which you can like. For example, if you give a domain and it will all uh, it will check with all the list of common domains that it has in the list, and it will check whether if the domain name is, exists, it will give you output if that it exists. So that is how you can do it, and yeah, let's close this. Who is and file names and file path you can also use. For example, if there are any WordPress websites, you can use. Uh, for example, while viewing image, for example, let me tell you any. Show me now. It might be this might be using. Yeah, this is using WordPress. So let's use this. Sorry, shout me loud. For example, this uh, this website is using WordPress, and if you want to view any image, view image. So WP iPhone content from this file path, you can also understand that it is using WordPress and subdomains and scripting platform. If it is uh, WordPress, then you, there might be a, any exploits available in ExploitDB or any kind of. It might be in Metasploit. 
you can check the version and if that exploit is compatible with that version and you can exploit the target and you can also get the contact details from contact us page for example you can get the email id of course everyone is using forms nowadays but sometimes they will also they will also use this contact they will also provide their email id yeah you can use twitter from then harsh so this is how you can get the food printing the other details that are the details required for further penetration testing and i, I would like to summon the sum this video up first get who is details from that you will get who registered the website if there is any company that is there, there are the two uh, some possibilities that they may hide because they can buy a plan yearly costing this much and they can hide their details for privacy but usually most of the people like small people they won't care but the one who cares about the security will already add that layer of security and the software used what is just that software is the server is using what is that software and their version and operating system whatever they are using if they are using windows 7 or linux or windows or any kind of specialized linux distribution or red hat or this kind of and what if there are any subdomains that are there and file name and file path using file path you can sometimes determine what is the content management system they are using and if they are using any content management system what are the exploit av available and what is their version so most of the people 70% of the web is made up of content management systems and most of the people forget to update once they create a website and they will forget to update plugins or uh, they direct their content management system itself and any contact contact details that are available this kind of these are the main things that we can find uh, we need while doing penetration testing in and that's it ending this video and this is mandras mahadri signing off